Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again today. I am Lundy Bridges, and today we'll be playing more of Bear and Breakfast. So last episode, we actually were expanding our Bear and Breakfast. I keep saying Bear and Breakfast, Bed and Breakfast, and Timber Crossing, and now I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Except it needs a lot of decorations. <laughs> but besides that, now we're in the A24, and I'm excited to expand. So without further ado, let's get to the game. Alrighty, so here we are. So this is A24, if I'm correctly, yeah. So it looks like we have to find Anton, so let's start with that first. He was the most that we couldn't refuse. <laughs> so I think he's up here. Here we are. Wait, is he in here? Can we just not... Oh, he's in there. Not there either. He either skipped town again or is lining a ditch somewhere. Oh no. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole. <laughs> but he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh oh, 10 o'clock, chief. What a surprise. Our hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No, not yet, anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? It was lovely, actually. I don't think I told you my name. <laughs> you didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. What? <laughs> I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. The air really is thinner up there, ain't it? <laughs> sure is. Jeez, don't need to be mean to me. Didn't catch your name. That's because I don't throw it around. It's on a need to know basis. Need to know basis. <laughs> Well, I kind of need to know. You won't get far with that attitude, kid. I'm the same way. I need to I need to know before I do something. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? <laughs> ah, what place? This place. Everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all these questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good, bringing people back up in the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. What's a problem? One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost Wade at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We were out doing our scavenge runs. He was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around and there was no Wade. Where'd he go? the low hiss of the swamp. You have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me, my dumb, to get your little venture up and running? Yes, please. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age <laughs> before your first customer sets foot in the place. Alright, I think that's a deal then. <laughs> I'll let you keep any scrap you find in here if you get a spoiled back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I check first. I wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. Alright. No need to be touchy. If I were Black Moss. <gasps> yep, this is exactly where I would go. <laughs> nice, okay, bridge. This is. We need all the things. Every last one. Nice little house here. Hey, bud. <laughs> Hello? Oh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe. Bad mushrooms. Heard a noise coming from the trees. <laughs> oh no, I was just looking. Because I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. That's pretty much all they do. And they sure as hell ain't doing it for you. Oh, sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. Oh, a friend here. Happy hour ain't what it used to be. He's pretty small and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Because small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. <laughs> oh, 
Oh gosh, no, it's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing. You should be paying me rent. Hmm. Yeah, I know where Wade is. Unfortunately. Well, let us know. Come inside. Inside. Well, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. Well, that's good. We can't trust you, Charlotte. Oh, is that Wade? Oh, here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly, and then what happened? He got the piece and scrammed. Wow, and what was it like, the thing? Oh, you mean the little artifact that's yours truly snipped and left it an hour? Only just about the rustiest cataclysmic comforter you've ever seen. Whoa. <laughs> it stank too, real bad. We think a cockroach lived there before we found it. Ugh. Whoa. Twig, what is it about liaising with the criminal? Criminal? Where? Yes, I'm, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. It's me. A rather unusual one at that. Wade, are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I'm not. <laughs> you gave yourself up. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. A festering nosy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. We all need a little bit of sprinkle in our life, you know, like a little dash. It's prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. Oh, you might want to come with me now. <laughs> no, you are not. We just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Shush, child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talk to Mr. A? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. <laughs> I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back, and he'd let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsides in the dump. You must be something special, mister. I am, thank you for noticing. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. <laughs> this rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. There's a value for circumstance. Hmm. Around charcoal lilies from pickle juice. Oh, hey, we just picked him up. You won't find him anywhere else but black moss. Maybe the bird brain 824 isn't for sale. He just gets him here anyway. Ipswich Wholesale. Nice. Came back if you don't see about jailbreaking your newfound friend. I guess I can rub your back if you rub mine. You actually have some. I don't know if I have enough. I don't see a bunch of lilies in your pocket. Fine. More lilies it is. I think we just might just walk around here and see what we can pick up rather than have to spend money. There's moss all over it. Nice! I could never live in a swampy... swampy place. All the critters, like, I couldn't do it. I don't have that strength. <laughs> Hello! Got what I asked for. As in Lily, like you said. One, um, two, uh, yeah, it looks right. <laughs> Good, this better have been worth your time. Because next time, you're taking him back in a jar. Oh, and pain double. All right, let's go wait like now. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can't bend after Lily's like she used to. Aww. Shush, child. Like, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator. Struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. But didn't always stick the landing. Oh, as evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy. Who, by their mere tiny presence, debunked any war that Charlotte would actually try to hit Hank in her big boiling cauldron. That's a hope, at least. No, she probably has a huge heart. She's just playing like a, like a tough exterior. Alright, Pip Squeak. Yes, ma'am. Scram. Yes, ma'am. Let's go, Wade. Thanks. Wait, 
Are we going together? Wait. Um, wait. Did you just leave me? I, I guess you did. I literally went all the way over here for you. And you leave me. It seems pretty rude. Anton. We got your employee for you. Pay it. <laughs> I think it's funny, you can't even see them in here. If you're not stepping one foot outside a stinking dump. Now, one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month. Yes, ma'am. The first rule of garbacology <laughs> is the creme always rise to the top, so make sure you dig down deep. The player is obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill of finding the best stuff is only matched for her loyalty to the old rat. Anton the boss seems like a real hard ass. But I guess you gotta be in his line of business. <laughs> oh, so cute. Way well, to be close to the left hand of the stink. Oh, stink. Words. Useful in a limited capacity and only under strict supervision. At least according to Anton. Oh, what a strange bunch. They do seem rather odd together. I always say I've had enough of them, but then I remember the advantages of having an extra pair of paws on hand, like for sending out on wild goose chases. Exactly. You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. Um, but I did it because I wanted to, too. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. Yes, sir. And we always keep our word. Yeah. Trash, 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 trash. Let's check that out. Maybe you should enter through the entrance. Nice. I'm excited to go to Tooks after this and get some more things because we're gonna have a ton of trash. Just go sweep up this place. Anything else? Alright, let's take let's take our bus. And then probably we'll, once we get to Temple Crossing we will um, we'll go to sleep as well. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> you need to know I'm not harmful. I'm a good bear. Let's make sure our property is up to pawn voyages uncompromising standards. Let's do it, green button. My standards are as uncompromising as they can. Congratulations, you met the absolute bare minimum requirements of being a halfway decent service provider. Yes. <laughs> the world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten, you might be on your way to minimum tax bracket. You really know how to sell this. <laughs> but enough talk about a bleak future. Let's talk about a bright one. Your next adventure upon voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a premium property to the palm network, find your local pawn shark and just press the green button. Yeah. I think he actually moved to the A24 now, which is super exciting. Welcome to the Palm Voyage Leadership and Advancement Program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this location. Also increasing payout. Nice, and bragging rights. We all love good bragging rights. <laughs> In order to improve this premise, you must now successfully complete the following tasks. Complete the stay for another two guests in Timber Crossing. Yay, pants! Nice! Would you accept? Absolutely! Yes. Task in progress. Please return once job's complete. Great. What's here? Shabby wooden bed recipe. Simple wardrobe recipe. Okay, let's get those. Oh. Get it. So let's go to our inventory. Let's learn those real quick. Yay. Okay, so we know everything there. Yeah, find Finn in A24. So, let me check this. Oh, all our rooms are done. Okay. So there's still 
five, two is one. Oh, these are getting higher. Let's go to Tooks real quick. Let's not spend a ton of money, but we'll spend a little bit. I got some trash. Hey. Okay, a cardboard box. Um, we do have also those little furniture, the wardrobes we just learned how to make. Hand painted drawers, retro jukebox. Possum. I feel like a possum clock would be something that we have, but it's a hundred. It's a lot. Let's do some light. Here's this one for five. So let's do three of these. I think it's kind of dark right now. Small potted prayer plant. Sure, why not? Janky floor mirror. Simple floor mirror. Let's get a little fancier. Bear painting, of course. Um, I want this place to look very cozy. Sorry, wood shelf. Let's get one of those and like a plant. Okay, that's it. She says because she buys everything. <laughs> okay, so let's increase this real quick. would not want to sleep in front of a mirror. <laughs> so let's put this over here somewhere. Um, probably right next to the door. That's nice. I'm glad we went with the fancier mirror. Bear painting. I kind of want to put it like on this back wall a little bit I can. So we'll do it Thing you see me with Clint. That's cute. Can't see it, but I think it's cute. <laughs> We'll save everything else for the A24. Let's move that a little bit. And then the, the 
rug here. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> so let's get some. So we are at 8, 9, 7, 10, 5, 9. Alright, well, it's better than it was, so I'll take it. <laughs> 8, 5. Do I have an 8, 5? Yeah, you can do this one. And then. I think it's too high for me, right? Oh no, I can do that. Show it who's boss. Let's press the familiar green button. Hello again. Part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, an electrifying enterprise. Yes, you said that. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains. The desiccated, desiccated, desiccated desert. I feel like I'm getting like a vocabulary with barren breakfast. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. I can't believe I'm following a fish shooter around. A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hums those tunes of old country roads. It's the one they sing about. And this brand's new premium habitation facility is the first only stop for the brand explorer on the run. An oasis and otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. <laughs> it's a little more populated than barren. Make no mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities, which is a perfect point of expansion for now chain of premium properties. Which is actually true, like if I actually was in the desert, I would want to be like a B&B, like a fancy b, &B. I, I could not do like a sleeping in a tent, not that kind of gal. <laughs> Sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. Check this out. I'm ready. Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to the Roadside Motel. Would you like to repair it? Absolutely. Step one, clear any debris and garbage inside the structure. Absolutely. Absolutely. How many absolutes can I say in a row? <laughs> oh, hey, Barbara. I was wondering who was there. You're a little, a little creepy, Barbara. Just to be honest with you. We'll be right there. You just wait. Let's just get this up and running. Good job. This is not a step. Just thought I'd let you know you did a good job. Well, thank you. <laughs> Gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, pine wood planks, iron nails, and stone. Barbara, we are ready for you. Actually, one second, Barbara. Sorry. <laughs> Sidetrack. <laughs> for some people, growing older doesn't come with getting smarter. I want what they have. <laughs> oh, I love you, Barbara. You're the best. Almost bought something, no. We at least know this tips garage there. Garage garbage. Um, let's try to find some stone. Oh, stone pile, we have two. We good? Oh, oh. That's a snake, we're out. Most definitely out. Hey! Where are you? Yes. There ain't a smell in the world that can't disgust me. It seems you're already trying to prove me wrong. <laughs> we just met Gus. 
Welcome to construction service. Have all the materials been acquired? Yep. They're all here. Get your butt to work. Let's see it. Extra materials completed. Team unlocked. Watering hole. Nice. Alright, Mr. Sharkman, we're ready. Astounding! You're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You're currently in position... 1. Out of 1. We'll take it. <laughs> hey, that's not bad. It is certainly. Something. As a leisure expert, I'm sure that your senses are now precisely tuned. So the next step in this possibly yet not probably profitable operation. Check the humans to come over. Check the humans to come over. I mean, all for a valued customer and room for lodging. Book a guest in the hotel, then return to receive completely unauthorized instruction on how to build bathrooms. Nice. Build a bedroom and book it. Let me just go to bed. I need that money from those people to move in. <laughs> okay, so now we're back to business. So, so comfort. So how do we want to do this? So we're gonna need a bathroom. I know people. I've seen people do like a central bathroom. Um, I think I might do like room bathroom room room bathroom room. And then hopefully these bathrooms kind of cover here. Alright, so one, two, three, four, six. Hopefully I didn't drop something. No, drop something. <laughs> or skip something. Um, I also can't make like massive rooms either. Can't afford it. But I just, for some reason, I like making master bedrooms for people. I feel like if you're gonna pay for something, might as well be like something super fancy. We're here, let's do a schmidge decoration. I'm just gonna change everything I just did. <laughs> let's move you a little higher. I actually like that. I people just checked it. Great. Yeah, spacious. Inviting. Love it. Oh, we gotta book a guest. So we need to make also a front desk. Okay. And then let's just place. I want them to look kind of different than the timber crossing. Nice. Okay. So. Oh, 10 and 11 already. Nice. Okay. I guess he'll teach us how to do one. So we can choose some of the higher numbers. Are we not a high bathroom score yet? I, oh, we have a two. <laughs> That's gonna be basic. Let's just get the two. <laughs> We're all done. <laughs> Why be in debt from a bank when you could just borrow from your future? I, I think it's still debt. <laughs> I've got a guest on the way. Astounding. They're the first prize of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Sure. <laughs> because of our premium desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource for their benefit and our profit. Not sure who's exploiting who. That's right. Water. It's new to exploitation, I think. <laughs> new to our never ending quest for patron excellence and fortunate health and safety regulations. This location can support sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what the next step is? I sure, use a lot of words, say very few things. Correct, you must now build bathrooms for your guests. Nice, great. Lucky guess. Craft a bathroom. Crappy <laughs> toilet recipe, alright. Let's do it. Put in shower recipe. Rested bathroom set. That sounds sanitary, right? <laughs> Build hygiene bathroom. Um so how we're gonna do this now? We could do let's just do it here. We 
can always change a format if we realize it doesn't work. Um, we can definitely change it. And if you guys have any like suggestions for me, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll happily take them into consideration. We did it! It's like mooching off your own for <laughs> future. I say furniture. <laughs> I have too much decorating in the brain. Alright, there's bathrooms now. Amazing. Now that's our guest need for immediate relief are met, we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable? Taking some time off? Repression. <laughs> That was my third guess. Recognizing the insight to customer motivation towards your product is a key detail of modern marketing. You're doing the thing again. <laughs> Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? <laughs> hey, I put a lot of work into this place. We really have. We're loving it. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn, shop, debt collectors. Yourself. It's a little dark. <laughs> it was a perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities. That's worse. But not just a bar. A taste of sophisticated establishment. A distillery. Nice! How refined. We're adding too many things, changing too much of our plans. Okay. So actually, I think we're going to leave it here for today. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. And if you can comment, like, and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!